<laughs> I, I, oh my god, I, I can't, I can't even breathe right now. So, the scam NFT, Soul Reborn, who stole assets from Soul Worker Online and turned them illegally into NFTs, made a tweet that actually went on to tell people to be careful, as there were pirated versions of Soul Reborn's NFTs on the market. Like this guy, he stole something, illegally redistributed it, and then went on to complain that people have stolen his stolen assets and then are redistributing his redistributed stolen NFTs. Like, <laughs> oh man, please help. Oh my God, I, I am genuinely dying right now. Hey, my name is Styx and if you thought that you had seen, you had heard the worst of what NFTs had to offer, then you're wrong. Now, if this is your first time here and you're interested in what you see, then I urge you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to remain up to date with everything that I post. Quick shout out to our patrons over on Patreon. You guys are all amazing. It is genuinely humbling to see people that are willing to support you in any way, whether it be via a like or a comment or even a view. Now today, I want to discuss the ever evolving conflict between Soul Worker Online and Soul Reborn. But before that, if you ever wondered how, as a professional entity, you should go about responding to accusations of theft and abuse, this right here, this is how you do it like a goddamn Chad. And by a goddamn Chad, I mean, this is how you look absolutely incompetent. So, I did a video last week covering the NFT Soul Reborn. This is a game that reportedly stole assets from the anime MMO Soul Worker and went on to repeatedly claim that they had acquired legal rights to not only develop the Soul Worker intellectual property, but to also distribute it in whatever form they wanted. The official rights holder, Lion Games, announced via their Twitter account that Soul Reborn was stealing the intellectual property of Soul worker without permission, and urged players to avoid the NFT to prevent damages, further going on to confirm that they were taking strong legal action. The So Reborn NFT responded with a tweet confirming that they had purchased the intellectual property of Soul Worker through legal channels and signed the documents. Documents that, to date, nobody has seen, even going as far as to claim that they were going to sue players and Lion Games themselves, the legitimate right holders for defamation. That's like going up to a guy stealing his deck of Pokemon cards, and then when he accuses you of doing that, you go on to tell him that you're going to sue him for defamation. Like, what is going through some of these people's minds? So Reborn promptly deleted their initial tweet so the discussion would not be visible to their audience. However, the official So Worker Steam account and other users have continued to leave comments on additional tweets made by So Reborn, which garnered copy, paste, responses. The Soul Worker Twitter responded to Soul Reborn by stating that if their contract had been officially made, they required their documentation to be sent to the official Lion Games email. As being qualified for IP holder, we have not officially made any contracts concerning the program called Soul Reborn. Tell us who are involved with the legal channels and documents you are insisting with. As being informed above, we are here to warn you to stop unauthorized advertisement. Any unauthorized abuses will be illegally reported, and Lion Games will take solid action against all violations of our rights. After receiving no response from So Reborn other than a simple okay, the Steam So Worker account made two tweets of their own. Announcement on illegal NFT related to unauthorized use of So Worker IP. Hello everyone, this is So Worker. At present, we have confirmed that some companies have stolen So Worker IP without authorization, conducted NFT business with So Reborn, and obtained illegitimate benefits. In order to prevent further losses, this notice is hereby notified. Because the above game was developed without a formal contract or license signed with Lion Games, Therefore, please do not register or promote the above website in order to avoid related damages. Lion Games will take tough legal measures and countermeasures against illegal profiteers. Please pay special attention. Then, as I noted earlier, ironically, so Reborn made two tweets recently, the first of which went on to claim that there were pirated versions of So Reborn NFTs on the market urging their players not to buy into the scam, which is honestly the most laughable thing I have heard probably in my entire life. <laughs> scam NFT. 
that stole assets from a legitimate game, telling players that there are NFTs stealing assets from an illegitimate NFT. Dude, you cannot make this kind of stuff up. I'm waiting for the uh, for the the reality TV series on TLC. You guys have to make this happen. Their second tweet went on to address their licensing of the Soul Worker intellectual property with a post made over on Medium titled Statement on IP Licensing. The Soul Reborn team would like to make a solemn statement in response to some recent inappropriate allegations and threats. Allegations and threats that were made by the legitimate rights holders, I just want to note. So Reborn is officially licensed by Soul Worker Korea IP to develop mobile games and to end computer games. All data on Soul Reborn, including NFT and AR NFT, are currently running in the games developed by the current license, and there are no false allegations such as infringement. We would like to warn you that there are negative influences on the internet and attacks on Soul Reborn's Telegram group and Twitter account. Once again, by the official rights holders for the game, for the entire intellectual property. That has to be telling you something. Since the launch of Soul Reborn, the NFT product has been selling well and has received a lot of attention and popularity from users, and has contributed to the evolution of traditional handheld games. We always hope to solve the pro- <laughs> I'm, I, I was genuinely, wholeheartedly, I, I'm not even kidding here, I was trying to read this with a straight face, but I couldn't. So let me let me try this once again. We, we, we always hope to solve the problem through peaceful means, but in the face of false accusations, we will take legal action. Once again, we are taking legal action against the legal rights holders or the intellectual property, because that makes sense. Well, that's what the edited post states anyway. As you can tell by the plethora of different comments left on their tweet, they altered their Medium post to remove an instance where they promised to provide irrefutable proof that they do, in fact, own rights to the Soul Worker intellectual property. I guess they probably shouldn't make promises they can't keep, right? Official Soul Worker staff and users have repeatedly requested Soul Reborn to show any type of legal documentation proving that they do, in fact, have rights to operate their game and their NFT, but Soul Reborn have repeatedly acted unprofessionally, discourteously, and unbefitting of an entity that they claim to be. But then again, as I noted in my last video, it's highly likely the guy running So Reborn either bought a fake already established Twitter account to seem more legitimate, or has since gone on to purchase tens of thousands of Twitter followers because we all know larger accounts look more legit. Now, I am genuinely surprised that the Soul Reborn Twitter account is still functional, although I honestly don't expect it to be for too much longer given Lion Games' stance on the matter. I genuinely, I, I can't believe that we live in a society now where things like this are becoming more commonplace. When I thought about where the, the future of gaming was going to be five years ago. This is not the direction I foresaw, but hey, <laughs> welcome to the future, right? So to end this, I do have a legitimate question for all of you. How many of you are genuinely interested in me adding in the the odd NFT related video into my rotation of regularly scheduled videos. Videos like this that are just generally discussing the ridiculousness of it all. I'm curious because I find stuff like this absolutely hilarious. Now, if you do want to know more, everything that I currently know about this entire situation, I do urge you to go ahead and click my previous video on Soul Worker and Soul Reborn right here. That way you guys can be kept up to date with it too.